lovely people welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well and if you are new here welcome and thank you for checking on this channel so today i'm going to make mpoto mpoto yam porridge and i think the nigerians call it asari i think yeah so as i always say no long talk biao ibi too so okay yeah so i have my yam here I have my palm oil, then I have um, onion, I have my tomato, diced tomato, then I have um, smoked mackerel, and I have here dried herrings um, powder, then I have chili powder, I have stock cube, I have salt to taste. The pepper, it depends on how you want your pepper and the salt to, salt to taste, the way you want your food to taste. So yeah, that's all I have. Um, if you're ready, let's do this, okay? Yeah, so my pan is on medium heat. I've added the yam to my pan and a bit of water to it. Now I'm going to add in my diced onion, diced tomato. I mean, yeah, like that is how I cook mine. Mpoto, mpoto. So I'll add everything plus the herrings, the dry herrings powder, chili powder, the salt, the stock cube, everything is going inside except my smoked mackerel. I'll add it later for about seven minutes. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Bibie kum. Okay, that must be cool, Michigan. The chili powder. I don't really like pepper like that. So if you like pepper, add a lot of pepper. But here we don't we don't we don't eat pepper. A lot of pepper. Yeah. So I've added everything. I'm going to cover it for it to cook for about seven minutes. Then I add my fish. Yeah. I'm going to add my fish now, but for the fish, I sometimes use canned mackerel, but today I'm using smoked mackerel. You can use any fish of your choice. So now I'll cover it and let it cook for about good 10, 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 to 12 minutes. By that time, the yam will be soft. Yeah. I'm going to check whether my yam is soft. I'll mash some of the yam. And leave some it depends on how thick you want your porridge to be I just want it honey ho I want to see my yam and I want it thick too so I'll mash some of it and leave some yeah now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry some of the onion in my palm oil to just give it this taste a bit of taste then add it to my porridge but for now the porridge if you are the the kind of person who doesn't want palm oil if you don't want palm oil you can just serve it like this but if you want palm oil you can just do this it's add to the taste And you can also choose not to fry onion in the palm oil. You can just add it straight to the porridge. But this adds to the taste. I'm telling you, it adds to the taste. So I'm now going to add it to my porridge. 
and uh, stir it. Look at this. Yeah, so I will just stir it and let it simmer for about five minutes. Yeah, bam. It is done. It looks yummylicious. Okay. It looks nice. And um, yeah. I bet can I cover my food? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And please don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. Peace.